Hi, my name is Sarah Tass. Welcome to this collective reading. This is going to be for Leo today. If you're new, thanks for being here. If you've been here before, thank you so much for coming back. Thank you for your support. Thank you for your subscriptions. Thank you for the likes, comments, all the things. I really, really do appreciate you all. And thank you for the new followers. I, I feel like this channel is something that I'm very proud of and I'm very grateful that this channel is growing. So thank you so much for supporting me and supporting my business. Okay, now that I got that out of the way, one last thing, I do have personal services open. So if you'd like to do tarot with me, if you'd like to do Reiki with me, if you'd like to do yoga with me, all can be done virtually online or in person in Charlotte, North Carolina. So yeah, all my information will be down below. I would love to do some readings for you guys and I love doing energy healing. So if that's something you're interested in, distance healing is amazing. So yeah, all right, so let's go ahead and pull some trinkets for you today, Leo. I did see 111 before I started this reading. Also, I did see 133, and it was like I was expecting to see 1331 and waiting for it. It's like I was waiting for the divine timing to start this reading, and I was staring at the clock, watching and waiting, like, okay, when's that one extra minute gonna be here? So there's something, it feels like there's something coming up for you, and you're like waiting for it. You you feel it, you know it, you see it, you, you're you watching the clock, and you're like, okay, something's about to happen, something's gonna happen. So. When is it gonna happen? You know, but you're like watching and waiting. It's kind of an interesting energy. But, so the little crystals that we have today for you are adventuring and citrine, which are great. So citrine is all about willpower, inspiration, confidence. That is your solar plexus. That's your sun shiny, bright, abundance, inner abundance mindset, right? Of believing in yourself, having faith in yourself, striving, pushing yourself past your fears and going towards your goals and dreams. Now, at the same time, we have adventuring, which is all about the heart chakra, love and compassion for yourself and for others. And this feels very yummy to me. This feels yummy. It feels like it's a very supported energy. It's a very natural energy of wanting to see progress and growth. And it's almost like watching your seeds be planted and then growing into a plant right in front of your eyes and just watching everything weave together, two, 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 okay? We have this cat energy, which always makes me think of your inner intuition, listening to your gut, moving when you need to, resting when you need to, being very intuitive and mindful, and listening to your higher self and higher spirit guides, ancestors, whoever you like to talk to. Now we also have this spider energy, which is all about tapping into weaving your own web web right networking communicating weaving your own web of reality so putting the pieces together and creating the life that you'd like to live now you can look at this in terms of projects you can look at this as in, in terms of creating this circular masterpiece of all these intertwined things of people of places of experiences of networking of resources all that can come together and create this beautiful piece of a web for you to always have access to right so you can look at that like that, or you can just look at it as you're building something right now, you're creating something right now, you're manifesting something right now. And it could be a little bit of both, all right? So, <sighs> okay, so what I was feeling when I was talking about all that was the throat chakra. So you may have had a bit of a throat chakra blockage that was holding you back from networking, from putting yourself out there. But now I think you trust yourself and you're listening to your intuition and you're doing what you need to do. You're accepting that you do have to speak to be able to live the life of your dreams. And so you are starting to get out there, speak more, share more openly and have more self-expression and allow your creativity to shine. Okay. All right. So let's see what energy you're in today. What is your mood right now when it comes to career and love and inspiration and just that heart chakra and the sake or not sacral the solar plexus okay what does it feel like for you today you feel liberated that's amazing so you're feeling liberated you're no longer feeling constricted or confused you feel inspired it feels like can you do a clarification please for this cat what's the clarification for the cat trinket bliss that's amazing yeah you're finding your own bliss your own peace you're living your best life you're celebrating the little things what is the clarification for interesting i was asking for the spider 
which is calm, which is interesting. So you're calm, although you're interweaving and intertwining. It's very like meditative almost. It feels like you're weaving a beautiful masterpiece. Okay, what is the clarification for citrine? 515. Courageous. Interesting. That's amazing. And what is the clarification for adventuring? Okay. Optimistic. Okay. That's beautiful. I love that. So let's go ahead and get into your reading. We have some really amazing cards on here. We have compassion on top as well. So you're really being kind to yourself. You're tapping into your spiritual gifts, your inner enlightenment, and you're no longer laying into the darker or lower or negative energies that come in when you're scared or when you're feeling like you're in that fight or flight energy. It feels like you're very grounded right now. And the spiritual thing came back up. So. Definitely tapping into your spiritual energy, trusting in the universe, trusting in divine timing, trusting in the things that you learn, and really taking into account that life is a process, and it's something that you can learn from, and you can grow from, and you can really look at it in different perspectives, and I think that's something that you're learning. You're learning to accept, you're learning to tap into your liberation energy, to be blissful, to be calm, to be courageous, to be optimistic. All right, so we're gonna get you some seasonal cards and see what's going on here. All right, so we have the luteal phase and the empress. Interesting. Yeah, so it shows that you're really planting your seeds into the universe right now and you're growing like a tree would, right? It's planting its roots first and you're just kind of sitting with it right now. You're mulling over it, you're hugging yourself, you're relaxing, you're releasing, you're just surrendering into the moment and realizing that eventually these intertwining weavy webbies of roots are eventually going to become something really grounded and beautiful above 717. Knowing that you're protected and that you're safe, you can accept that you can accept that. You can accept that you're protected and safe and that things will happen in divine timing. Now from here, we have the Empress energy. So you're starting to tap into your Empress energy. You're ready to receive. You're ready to be abundant. You're very intuitive right now and in tune. It looks like you're also tapping into connection to the sacral chakra. I would also say, well, really all the chakras, but it feels like you're really tapping into your creativity, into your inner willpower, into your inner strength, into opening up and expressing yourself more, being strong and independent and feeling liberated in your skin and in your confidence to be able to share authentically who you are. Okay. Any last cards for seasonal? What's going on with this seasonal? Okay, so we have the clitoris, which is all about pleasure. So to me, it feels like you're tapping into the pleasures of life. You're tapping into the sparks of life, the direct stimulation of what happens when you choose to focus on love, when you choose to focus on passion, when you choose to receive. Um, it feels like it's going to be a very expansive energy for you because you're very direct in your intentions right now and it feels like you want the best for yourself you want abundance you want passion you want to feel fulfilled and full and nourished so you're choosing passion we have the wild one yeah i love this card dancing in the woods you're dancing around the fire you're tapping into your inner strength you're wild and free and expansive and your arms are open wide i also saw 9 11 on there so that is your tower moment the, it's not a bad tower moment right now it's actually a really progressive tower moment where you're becoming more you okay you're able to kind of be like a phoenix rising from the ashes turning into a beautiful i'm hearing butterfly but i'm also thinking about lotus which it feels like it's about love, self-love, self-compassion, self-care. All of this energy is moving through love. Yeah. Red tent. So learning to connect with women or men or whoever is your gender or whoever you 
feel like you vibe with the most, your community, right? Your special community that can see you where you are, that is similar to you, that is going through similar things as you. You're able to kind of create this beautiful little community, this little bubble to share authentically and to talk about the things in your life, to be open, to be vulnerable, to be naked, if you will, and to be raw and authentic in your energy, which I feel like that's something that you always wanted. You wanted sisterhood, you wanted connection, you wanted to you know, sip tea or coffee around a fire and chat about life and you know, look at the moon and talk about dreams and goals with people, but you didn't have that before. But I think you do now, or you're moving into that space because you're learning to love yourself more, which is then drawing in people who also love themselves, who have similar mindsets as you. You're also putting yourself into situations where you're gonna meet people that are gonna be like-minded as you as well. So it's all about that networking. It's all about the inner weaving, the intertwining, right? All right, let's get one more card. Also, the red tint is all about bleeding. So you could be on your menstruation, you are, uh, you could just be releasing something right now, letting go something, sloughing off something that no longer serves you to make space for something new. Okay. Yeah. I think you are because it says minarchy, which is your mensis. So we have bleeding rituals and ovaries. So yeah, you're you're wanting to make life more intentional, it feels like. You want to... Be more intentional about what you do, when you do it, how you weave your web, how you plant your seeds. You can see that this, the seeds, it's like, it takes time, right? If you were to look at this like this, you could view it as these seeds from this original piece are moving into a beautiful flower that then you're going to be able to look at, sip with, sit with, love, share, you know, and this energy, this luteal phase to this bleeding ritual, it's, if you think about a women's cycle in a month, there's four phases and it takes time to go through each phase and your personality changes, your emotion changes, your physicality changes, everything about you changes. Some days you're really strong, some days you feel weak, sometimes you're really thin, some days you're a little bit bigger, some days you have loads of energy and then sometimes you have no energy. Sometimes you need to rest, sometimes you need to take action because your body says that it's ready to take action so it's this energy of listening to your intuition listening to the internal call within you and also respecting yourself enough to rest when you need to rest to do when you need to do and to trust in the process okay now it feels like you're very fruitful right now <clears throat> Um, it feels like you're being supported by your community or the community that you're creating, um, whether that's online, in person, what have you. It feels like you're being supported by women, which is amazing. Okay. All right. I think a new moon is coming around the corner too, so maybe you'll meet people at a, like a new moon circle or something. That'd be cool. I met a few of my friends at a full moon circle, which is nice. <laughs> All right, so we have boundaries, setting boundaries for yourself, being light in your energy, and also being the light in the dark, right? So keeping your vibrations higher, being strong within your energy so that you don't overexert or don't overextend or don't get your energy stolen from you. Okay, it's a time to be courageous. The moon, manifest, and full moon. You might have made some goals or dreams or wrote down something that you really want at a full moon recently, and it's coming in, okay? Whatever you asked for, whatever you were manifesting is about to manifest, and it's going to show up the next full moon, I feel like. So right now it's just time to reflect, to sit with whatever is in the process of evolving and growing. And whatever it is, is about to be something that's going to help you feel nourished, replenished, rebalanced, refreshed. It's gonna help you feel like you're not going nuts, right? Like it's, 
it's something that you asked for it's something that you've been wanting and it's finally coming in and you need to know that you needed this time of silence this time of not as much happening so that you could grow within yourself that's what it feels like you've been on your own little journey yeah you've been on the fool's journey you've been taking leaps of faith you've been growing you've been expanding but you were in this hangman uh, hangman energy for a reason to see different perspectives and to learn more about yourself now where this is going for you is amazing but it feels like you did have some hardships that you had to work through okay so the hardships that you had to work through were the five of pentacles you felt left out in the cold you felt sad you felt like no one wanted to be around you you felt like you didn't have enough you felt like you weren't being invited into spaces or into connections or commitments or opportunities you felt like you were just left out and you needed a warm place but you weren't being given the opportunity to have a warm place or to do something in particular so you just felt like you were searching right searching for someone to let you in okay now from then it looks like you did have lots of opportunities eventually that were off offered to you and you had to choose what you were gonna take on which one was gonna be the better option for you okay now I think that you got into a place of overwhelm because you were trying to choose what was going to be more long lasting what was going to be more eternal um what was going to be best for your money for your abundance and it looks like you were really trying to find the balance within that and i think that you eventually did come into a place of balance but you realized that you didn't have to actually choose one or the other you could have both and that's the cool thing is that you found balance in what people would probably look at as silly but you decided, why do I have to choose, right? It doesn't have to be one way or the other way. It can be both, right? You can try it out. You can try to find balance within it and see what works, okay? Now, this magician energy is all about manifesting. It's all about throwing a dash of this in and a dash of this in and a dash of this in and transmuting energies around you, alchemizing things and creating something unique and different and making craziness happen out of energy that feels like it's not going to be as powerful as it is. But you can turn anything into something powerful, right? It's all about the mindset. It's all about choosing to manifest and choosing how you're going to approach certain situations. Now, it looks to me like you chose to approach things in a way that was fluid, in a way that felt more receptive, in a space that felt more heart-centered, loving, compassionate, nurturing to the soul so you've been kinder to yourself and you've been kinder to other people being open and receptive and not forcing things to happen you've been in this energy of if it doesn't happen it doesn't happen and that's okay because there's always other opportunities around for me nothing that's meant for me is going to pass me by and if it does pass me by it'll come back around okay eight one eight 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 so abundance energy is what i'm feeling now, this moves you into the Ten of Cups where you're going to have the happy life, the happy family, the whatever you've been craving, right? The emotional fulfillment of going out on dates, having picnics, being able to sit by the water, be in a state of flow, be in a peaceful, blissful, yummy energy and be able to actually get to experience your life and embrace the goodness within it and be really grateful for what you have. So you may have kitties, you may have dogs, you may have a partner, you may have kids, you may have you know, the whole nine yards in the house and the, you know, picket fence and all of it. But you also might be someone who just wants simple things in life. It doesn't matter who you are and what you want. It's all about where you're meant to go. And you get to decide what your Ten of Cups looks like. No one else can decide that for you. Now, you're moving into a very strong and independent energy king of pentacles it looks like you're going into a place where you're going to feel very grounded very open very receptive you're going to be able to experience the goodness in life taste what you want to taste eat what you want to eat embrace the yumminess and really you're going to really get to share what you choose to share with people 
it's this energy of you have boundaries you have this strong and independent energy of knowing that you are in control and that you are a leader in your own energy but you also are open-hearted and ready to invite in people into your space and share energy with those around you share love and compassion with those around you you're in this give and take energy of reciprocity I feel like you're ready. You're ready to share with someone. Yeah, you've been in this hermit mode for a long, long time and you've learned a lot from being solo, but I think you're ready for the world. You're ready for something more. You're ready to share with those around you. You're ready to work on new goals, new, new aspirations, to view things in different ways. <clears throat> you're ready to leave old energies behind that don't serve you anymore and make space for the empress energy okay so i think we already had empress on the table so you know birthing new ideas creating actual life you know whatever that looks like for you it looks like you shall have it because you're very fruitful right now you're very fertile right now um in mindset and also yeah the emperor and also in physicality it looks like you are calling in love the star energy because you're shining so bright that it's calling in it's like looking up towards the north star and knowing that if you always look up in the sky you're gonna find it and it's like you the empress have been there shining so bright waiting for your emperor to see you and your emperor is finally seeing you You've been really balanced. You've been tempering your energy. You've been working on yourself and you're ready. You're ready to have love. You're ready to have balance within yourself and in partnerships. So you're calling in your divine partner. I'm hearing three, two, one, and that's because you've been resting. You've been healing. You've been letting stuff go, letting old old things go that no longer serve you okay let's get you one of these cards let's see if there's anything holding you back right now is there anything holding leo back right now romance soulmates empathy can we get a clarification why is that holding why is that holding Leo back? Um, I think that there's this energy of feeling like you, once you get into a connection with someone, you're going to be really deeply in it and you're scared to feel too much because you have felt too much in the past and you've been hurt or broken. You're very empathetic. So you're very emotional. You can feel other people's energy and yourself. And you're scared it's not going to be reciprocated. So this energy is, yeah. You're almost wanting to deny yourself the opportunity to have love because of old situations. Maybe projections of yourself in old relationships. If you look, if you think about old relationships, a lot of times they're meant to teach you something, and a lot of times people mirror things to you that you haven't healed, and you're scared that you're gonna be in a connection with someone where they're gonna show you what you have not healed. But I feel like this is something that you've been manifesting. You've been manifesting an opportunity to see that you have actually healed that you are a different person and that you don't call in negative connections anymore you call in healthy ones yeah ones that are full of unconditional love excitement laughter right so it's time for you to tap into your strength and your courage and your bravery and allow yourself to have this amazing yummy ten of cups because you deserve it it's divinely guided. It is in your destiny to have this. Okay. It's time to confront your fears and be kind to yourself and be compassionate because you deserve this. 
You deserve the rainbows, the yumminess, the dreamy energy, the creative energy, the muse energy. You deserve the opportunity to have memories and to make memories and to feel that lovey-dovey energy once again. Yeah, divine feminine birthing and fertility. This is your time to meet your person. Okay, let's see what this deck has to say. Yeah, compatibility. You are going to find your partner that you're compatible with. And that's because you've been healing childhood wounds. You're becoming the divine feminine. That's amazing. Anything else? Anything else that this collective needs to hear? You have self-respect now. So you've been maturing and growing and that's why you had to spend time by yourself. But you've you've really evolved and now it's time for you to have your person yeah you've evolved in your emotional freedom and your emotional intelligence and you're calling in your soulmate right now because you have created more spiritual maturity all your manifestations are coming in you've been healing your sexual traumas and creating freedom within yourself and remembering your self-worth is priority okay Let's see, um, yeah, something new. That's what's coming in, a happy union. So this is someone new, I think. It's someone that you've not had a connection with before, not like this. Who, who, how will we know this person? How will this collective know this person? Interesting. So it looks like this person could be someone who is a parent. Maybe they co-parent or something. Um, or this could be someone who has a child. Yeah. Um, this devilish energy is here. This is what you get when you're bad, which that could go multiple ways. That could go like someone is either controlling or they're they have some sort of like sexual devilish lusty energy but maybe you crave that i don't know um it could be someone who has like capricorn energy is fireful is passionate is very sensual um, but what is coming in with this is you won't be alone for long. Enjoy your peace. This is a reminder of love. You're getting closer with someone. You're finding love and you're under the love influence. I want to get a clarification on that devilish card. Mm. This person is a sweet talker. They might even love bomb you. Um... They might be very into money or like into more masculine energy yeah abundant enough to give and provide so this person whoever they are they feel like they are the masculine in the relationship which means that you would be the opposite of whatever that is it doesn't really matter what your gender is but it feels like this person really focuses on their pentacle okay and that's something that you may have to find forgiveness in that may be something that even becomes an issue like this person spends a lot more time worried about money than they do relationships and that may be something that you have to learn to balance it's giving me aries energy too where like someone's really into creating stability and that's why that's what the toxic energy here feels like it's like stability is the main priority yeah and so this connection may take a little bit of time to kick off because of stability being the main energy and this could even be you too focused on your money yeah working on yourself karmic masculine energy It's just like a, it's a, it feels like a codependency to work. 
codependency to money. And that feels like it's going to be something that has to be worked on within yourself and maybe within the person that's coming in. The plot twist is, though, that this is a blessing that's coming into your life. This connection, this commitment, this relationship, it's coming in at the right time, too. So it's your call if you choose to let this person into your life. It may be someone from your past trying to sneak back in. That's what I'm feeling too. So be mindful. Think about what you'd want to have invited into your family energetically. If this person feels sneaky, if they feel like they're too busy or whatever, or they feel like they don't tell you everything, you're gonna need to think about that a little extra. They may have a third party of some sort and that feels like it's, it doesn't feel like it's a person, it feels like it's a commitment. Yeah, it feels like it's a commitment. So there's something outside of the connection of emotional connection that feels like it's a commitment either for you or for this other person and they get distracted by it. So you're going to have to choose if you're going to be open to being in a connection like that going back again so this may be something someone from your past or someone that you've connected with in the past maybe not to this extent but wow a cop car just went flying across the street so <laughs> nothing dramatic is coming in it's not going to be a bad person you know you're safe you're protected it's okay a yummy shift is coming in um it's just a it's, it's 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 a change it's a change because you've been attracting toxic lovers in the past maybe codependent lovers or maybe even narcissistic connections and i think that you're going to be kind of contemplating if it is narcissistic or if it is a codependency or if you have codependencies or toxic traits that you're still connecting to and it may be something where you have to do your own internal healing or shadow work to figure out how to approach this connection healthy there's hope though and it's a good thing it's a good connection and it may just be something you need to share openly with this person and say hey this is how my past was this is some stuff i'm working on and um i want this connection and i want it to be healthy and i want to still have individuality but i would also love to come together and be partners and be in a healthy connection of commitment so it's time for you to allow your wishes to come true and speak more openly because this can become something new, okay? And it's supported, I feel like. Yeah, there's hope once again. So whatever this is, it's, there's hope within it. And this could even be someone who you used to look at as toxic and then they've healed. And so the, the old version of them that, they, that you used to know was someone who didn't give a rat's A, right? That would fly around, carefree, whatever. And you know that version of them and you're like, I'm not sure about that version of them, but you don't know the version of them now. And so you're like, well, I can give this version of you now an, an opportunity for me to get to know you and to see you differently. And you know, if you prove to me that you are different than you used to be, then I'm open to progressing further with you. But if you are similar to the way that I used to know you and you haven't changed and you haven't grown and you don't care to grow, then I'm going to have to leave you behind and move forward towards something or someone that's better. Three through three. Okay. So that's just self-respect, right? That's you listening to your intuition. You don't want mischief. You don't want someone playing with you. You don't want someone playing games with you. You want maturity creating through ashes okay you have gone through lots of different experiences in your life and you want something better right so you don't want to get blinded by the past and you don't want to get blinded by repeating cycles community and web weaving so that brings us back to this little guy so it may be someone that you meet new in this love in this community that you're tapping into. We have ancestors, the love and legacy of your DNA. I feel like your ancestors are supporting this connection that's coming in. They may even be trying to send you love. They may be trying to send you a particular person right now. They're like, 
okay, do you see the person that we're sending you? It's right in front of you. Like, you know, we're here talking to you. We're the bird that's on the corner over there that's like, hey, go left, turn right, go to this place, go to this place, go to this restaurant, go to this coffee shop, go to where, go blah, 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 blah. trying to tell you to go find your person because they know, but you don't know, you know? <laughs> okay, so it's hidden right now. Whatever it is, it's hidden, but it's, it's something that's about to be shown clearly to you. Um, let's get an overall tarot card for you just to finish this reading off. Okay, well, really don't need to question anything else here. We have number 12, the awakening. This is the hangman energy, I believe, in this deck. Change the way you're looking at the situation. Embrace your uniqueness, a temporary pause in the action. Let's get one more. So you're awakening right now. You've been in the hangman energy. You've been learning things, seeing things at different perspectives. And now it's your time to transmute the old energy, grow, and move forward. Okay. We have... You might be a very ambitious person. I think that's what's, you You have a hard time making space for love is what it feels like to me. And so that is a, a bit of a thing that comes in here trying to distract you is that sometimes you don't make space for love or you don't open up the opportunities for it. And, but you're meant to, okay? So we have four of spring. This is such a cute card. You're meant to. You're meant to have your charming person, right? Be grateful. You have so much to celebrate. Deep feelings of peace and happiness. A contented personal life. You're going to be very happy with this connection that comes in. And within yourself. Whatever is coming in, this person that's coming in for you, is going to be in the King of Autumn energy. They're going to be compassionate. They're going to be accomplished. They're going to be charismatic. They're going to be gifted. They're going to have goals, dreams, aspirations. They're not just going to be that person that sits around, that plays video games all day and doesn't care about tomorrow, doesn't care about their future. It's going to be someone who thinks about, you know, a year down the road, that thinks about a few months down the road, thinks about next week and how they want to try this new thing, right? It's going to be someone who is always thinking about how they can better themselves. That's good. You want that. <laughs> we have the assertive this person will be abs absurdive when it comes to what they know is right. Things tend to go their way because they are accomplished in their success. It feels like in money, they're accomplished. So in business, things tend to go their way. It feels like they're a very good leader. Yeah, this may be someone that is really good with working with other people. Like in business, they're not just the, the leader that calls the shots, they're, they're someone who wants to be a part of the team, wants to share and talk about ways that they can help you all grow. And like, they don't just expect you to do what they say. They, they want communication is what it feels like. And the way that they treat business or work or whatever is gonna be similarly to how they treat your relationship because they value relationships and connections in general as being healthy, being team mate kind of energy, of bouncing ideas off of one another and also hearing each other out. Reciprocity. So it's time to release the past. It's time to release the negativity, the darkness, let go of the negative mindsets, the baggage, um, and know that there's new opportunities, new people, new experiences coming into your life, and it's time to move forward. So yeah, you might be seeing 1313, you could be seeing 1111. <sighs> this is your renewal. Yep. This is going to be your last card. This is your renewal. So death, rebirth energy. It is time for you to blossom and to grow and to expand and to see things differently, to transcend. Review the past and the present so you can plan a bright new future. Understanding your life purpose, releasing judgments of yourself and others. Yeah. It's time to dream big, right? To 
listen to your intuition and love yourself dearly. All right, thank you so much for being here. If you'd like to come back, please come back another time. If you would like to have any personal services with me, all my information is down below. And thank you so much. Please like, comment, and subscribe. I will see you very soon. Goodbye.